Okay, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. It happens to be Friday, October the 17th, 2014. And I still have plenty of my well fermented whole wheat sourdough pumpkin pancake batter left. Okay, the great thing about sourdough starter. It makes your batter last for a long time if it needs to. You can't kill it. You can't spoil it. It, it just gets better and better through the process of uh, fermentation. And here I have I'm making more whole wheat sourdough pumpkin pancakes that I made from scratch from the other video. This time in my stainless steel uh, chef's skillet with the uh, thick aluminum clad bottom I have it on low medium that's all I need put some extra virgin olive oil in there and I have my uh, pancakes with scrapple a, um, a Lancaster County uh, specialty um, don't don't ask me to explain what it is because you probably would never try it if I told you. But anyway, Scrapple uh, with natural uh, maple syrup from Canada. It's much the price is much lower from Canada than it is from the United States, especially Vermont. They rip you off with the maple syrup, considering the fact that it takes 40 gallons of of sugar maple sap to boil down to just one gallon of maple syrup but nevertheless I'm not paying a lot of money for it anyway all right, this one is definitely ready and as you can see my pancakes are Paul Bunyan size so I'm going to probably make one more even though I could probably get full with this but ah, I'll make one more I always make three All right, let me explain how I make <clears throat> the sourdough starter. It's really quite easy. You take equal parts of warm filtered water. Uh, could be room temperature, doesn't matter. Um, to equal parts of uh, all-purpose uh, unbleached flour. And then what you do is you add any form of sugar you have agave syrup, honey, white sugar, doesn't matter. It's got to be a form of sugar. Anything that ends in O-S-E, O-S. Uh, you can add a decent amount of sugar because it's, it's not going to be there for long. And then you add a tiny bit, just a little pinch of live baker's yeast. And you, uh, you mix it up very well and you put the lid on top of the container or jar very loosely or you can use like a, a damp wash rag you know unused of course uh, or, or dish towel you gotta you gotta allow it to aerate oxygen must get inside and um, you leave it out room temperature for about a week I like to do it for two weeks What's going to happen after a week is you're going to see this very dark, almost black fluid on top of the flour, the batter that you made for the sourdough starter. That's the fermentation that has peaked out, Your, the fermentation of the yeast feeding on the sugar, all right? It's like, uh, it's like the, 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 the flour or grain version of making yogurt or kefir. It's a fermentation. Uh, then you mix it with a wooden spoon or plastic spoon. Never use metal because it kills the yeast. And you refrigerate it. And there, there you go. There's your sourdough starter. And you could keep it fresh as you know as it gets gets down to the bottom. You can add more room temperature or warm water, equal parts to more flour, equal parts. Stir it up. You know, leave it out room temperature outside. I mean, in, in the house, the same thing will happen. The black fluid will appear at the top. 
and you just it can last forever. And that's how you make sourdough starter. Very simple. Ah, beautiful color. Look at that. Gotta love it. This is James P. Madonna of the Facebook group Everything is Food and Mega Life 21 saying Bon Appetit. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.